Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to try to evaluate uh, this improper integral. So this integral is improper because if you plug in the 8 here into the bottom here, you're going to get 3 over the square root of 8 minus 8. So you get 3 over 0, so it's undefined, right? And um, if you take the limit um, as x approaches 8 from um, the left, you're going to get infinity here. This is going to blow up. So you have what's called an infinite discontinuity, right? So you can't plug it in, it makes the bottom zero. Typically, that's going to be an infinite discontinuity. So solution. So what you do in these problems is you replace the 8 with a letter, so a symbol, so like B. Okay. And then I'll rewrite this. This is 3 over the square root of 8 minus x dx. And then you approach 8. You let B uh, approach the number 8. But we have to decide uh, from which direction to approach it. So what I like to do is I like to think about it every time instead of memorizing things. So here's 8 and here's 0. So B is in the middle. And so B is approaching 8. Ah, okay, so we're approaching from the left. So if you always draw a little picture like this, uh, you write down your limits of integration, and you put your B in the middle, you'll, you'll, you'll see which way it's approaching. So in this case, you can tell we're approaching from the left. So we're approaching from the left. It's very, very important. For example, if we were approaching 0 in this case, you'd be approaching from the right, right? so it'd be a little bit different. To integrate this, we do have to make a u substitution. Um, we'll let u be what's inside the square root, so u will be equal to 8 minus x. And then so du in this case is negative dx. Now, uh, what we have here does not match what we have in the integral. We have a 3 dx, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by 3, by negative 3, to make everything match. So it'll be negative 3 du equals 3 dx, right? Because I multiplied by negative 3. Let me put in a little negative 3 here so it's more clear. So negative 3, negative 3. So negative and negative is positive, so you get a 3. Also, whenever you make a u sub, it's a good idea to change your limits of integration. So let's see. When x is equal to b, that's the top limit of integration, u is going to be uh, 8 minus b. Right, you just take the b and plug it in. And then when x is equal to 0, um, u is equal to 8 minus 0, so uh, u is equal to 8. Right? Just taking the numbers and plugging them in here to make our sub. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches 8 from the left. And let's see, so 3dx is negative 3du. So I'll pull the negative out. So you have negative 3. I'll pull the negative 3 out as well. So negative 3du all over the square root of u, right? Let's check that. So 3 dx is negative 3 du, and then we have u being 8 minus x, so we get the square root of u on the bottom. The upper limit of integration was b. That changed, right? That became 8 minus b. And the lower limit of integration was 0. That changed, right? That became 8. All right, this is equal to the limit as b approaches 8 from the left. And now we can rewrite this integral to integrate it. This is negative 3, definite integral, 8 to 8 minus b. You can bring this upstairs. You can first write it as u to the 1 half, and when you bring it up, it becomes u to the negative 1 half du. All right, let's keep going. This is equal to the limit as b approaches 8 from the left. And we have negative 3. And now you can add 1 here, right? So negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. That's the power rule. So we get u to the 1 half. And then we're dividing by 1 half. And we're going from 8 to 8 minus b. Now, some people don't change their limits of integration. That's fine. You don't have to change them. But just keep in mind that the intermediate steps are technically incorrect. I mean, I guess you, if you don't change them, you could just specify that they're x values and maybe get away with it. But uh, the correct way to do it is change them, even though it's a little bit more work. If you don't change them, what you do in this next step is you go back and you replace u with 8 minus x, right? So it's actually less work not to change them. Um, this is equal to the limit. I'm going to rewrite this as b approaches 8 from the left. Um, when you divide by 1 half, you really multiply by 2, so it's negative 6, okay, negative 6, and then here we have um, square root u, right, writing that as a square root, and then we have 8, 8 minus b, okay? 
Alrighty, so now uh, we can plug stuff in. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches 8 from the left. Okay, we still have the uh, negative 6. And then you plug in this one first, and then you subtract, and you plug in this one. So I'm going to put the, leave a the negative 6 out. So it's square root 8 minus b. Okay, then minus uh, square root 8. Okay, so what we did there was we, we plugged in um, this one first, subtracted, then plugged in this one. All right, now we take the limit as b approaches 8 from the left. Well, in this case, you can just plug in 8, no problems, right? So you're going to get negative 6, you drop the limit sign, square root 8 minus 8 minus the square root of 8. So you get negative 6. Well, 8 minus 8 is 0, square root of 0 is 0, so you get 0 minus square root of 8. So that's going to be uh, negative and negative is positive, so you're going to get 6 square root of 8. And that would be the answer, right? That would be the answer. And in this case, we got an answer. Um, so we would say that the integral converges. If you get no answer, like if you get infinity, negative infinity, d and e, then you say the integral diverges. So a really quick recap. The main thing in this problem is two, two things. One, um, you know how to start it, right? So this is the most important step right here, the very first step. Make sure this is correct too, right? Make sure you approach from the right direction. And two, uh, just be careful, right? Be careful. There's a lot of notation. And if you do change the limits like I did, it is more work, uh, but it's totally better. Like, you know, you're doing it the right way. Um, so, yep, that's it.